So uh, the iPhone was just announced and it's still 1000 even they increased $100 more but uh, check this is this is the kind of phone that's really cool this is the one I've been using for the last 6 months this is my uh, main driver okay the main main phone that I'm using uh, with a full keyboard this is interesting new iPhone has nothing there's nothing special and the iPhone has this notch you know the huge notch now it's the even bigger notch huge notch on the, on the top of the iPhone but instead of that, you should just have one of these. This is, uh, I'm gonna make it super bright. This is just $150, okay? With the octa-core MediaTek chipset. There's no need to pay $1,000 for, for, for phone. Very nice with the backside fingerprint scanner, which they don't put on the iPhone. They want you to scan your face every single time. Makes no sense. Just touch the back, okay? This is the Verni Mix 2. It's available on Gearbest for just 150 with dual SIM. Real dual SIM, not an eSIM like on the Apple. Um, so that's it. That's just my latest uh, review of the iPhone. Uh, $1,100 or $150. I think $150 is better. This is slightly more than $150. My Gemini PDA is more like four to $600. It's really stable. I mean, I'm happy with it. I do phone calls like this and like that with the accelerometer and with all the ports and everything on the side. So check it out. Jiminy PDA, Verni Mix 2, or you can buy seven of these for one iPhone. I think seven is a little bit better of these. Thanks for watching.